Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 110, balanced binary tree. In this problem, we are given a binary tree and we need to determine if it is a height balanced. So what's height balanced? A height balanced binary tree is a binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every node never differs by more than one. So what does that mean? Let's look at this example and try to figure it out. Okay, so here we are given a binary tree. Now let's see what's the depth of this node. Uh, the depth of the subtrees of this node is here since we have only one. So it's equals to one right now here. What's the depth? What's the height? We have one node in this level and we have two nodes at this level, but this is of if we say this is level one, then this is level two, then the height is equals to two. Now, what's the difference between the height of left subtree and height of right subtree? It's equals to one, right? So that is when we know that this is a height balanced subtree because the height is no more than the difference in height is no more than one also if we had a node here the height here would be now equals to two and then it would still be a balanced subtree because it would be zero the difference now if in case we did not have let's suppose we have one more node here then the height would be equals to three for this subtree right because we have one more node in the in its uh depth right adding to its depth so the difference is equals to two and now since the difference is two it's not a height balance of three so that is what we need to figure out so how can we actually solve these problems let's look at this problem and try to figure out a solution okay so what we need is to identify we need height balance means each of the node height of its two subtree of every node right which means that we have to check the height of each and every node so this forms one subtree this also forms one subtree this forms one subtree right so we have to do it for each of the node now for this node we start from the very bottom so what we we are doing here is we are actually performing dfs so we go to the very left and then this becomes the becomes one subtree right and in this subtree also we try to go towards its left but we do not have any node so we just return zero from this tree now here also its right also doesn't have any node so we return zero so now we are returning zero from both the left and right and the difference between these two subtrees height is equals to zero zero right so it is this subtree is balanced now from this subtree it has a height of one we are just adding one to the zero value return and now this one is the height of this subtree now to compare this subtree we need to compare another subtree the right subtree of this node which is this one and for that we need to find the height of the subtree of these nodes right so for this also the height will be equals to um, when it tries to go towards left and right it's still zero the same as this one so height of this will be close to one and height of this will also be close to one and now when we are backtracking to its parent node we will then compare both the heights and the difference is equals to one so that difference means that this subtree is balanced now we add a one to uh, the resulting uh, height and the height of this will be now equals to two and now from here what we do is we have one we have two right so the difference here is equals to one so this whole tree also is a balanced subtree now to find the height of this one we have one towards its left and the height two towards its right so basically the height will be the maximum value of its uh, subtrees right which is equals to two so we take the value two we add a one so now the height of this node is equals to three so this is how we are actually going to solve this problem now let's look at another example let's suppose that we have an empty area that is a tree which doesn't have any root so what would be in that case in that case like it will still be a balanced subtree because 
it doesn't have a left and a right child so the difference of its left and right child is basically zero so basically the height itself is zero so the difference everything is equals to zero in that case so we just return to the a null subtree is a null tree is also a balanced tree so that is what we need to keep in mind and similarly if we only have one node that is one and as you saw in the example here uh, its left and right ch child are at depth zero there are no children so depth zero so the difference will be zero and it's only of height one and this will also be true right it is a balanced uh, binary tree so basically this is how we are going to solve the problem so let's try to code it now so if we do not have a root that is when we are going to return uh, of a uh, zero value right as you saw like while we're going to the left and towards the right we did not have any node so we just returned the value zero so we are returning the value zero and let us have a variable to store the value from the left and right okay so is balanced and we are uh, getting the height from the left and similarly let okay let of right is balanced root and towards the right so we get the height from the left and the right tree now if height of left is equals to false or height towards the right equals to false then we are going to return false so why am i doing this is uh, i'll just tell you in a while now let's first compare the heights because we need to do that right so left minus height of right it should not be greater than one so if this height is greater than one and we need to take the absolute value of this one okay if it's greater than one that is when we return false so that is now in this example in this case we are returning false so while we return false the height will be uh we, that means that the tree is not balanced at some point we found that uh the left um the tree is not balanced so if we found that either of these value returned values are false then we just keep on returning false we do not need to uh, calculate this thing again so that is what we are doing we are just returning false else if everything works fine if this is also not true and this condition is also not true then what we do is we return the maximum value why are we returning the maximum value because between the left subtree height which is one here and the right subtree height which is two here we need to find the height of this node as well right so that would be the maximum height of its subtrees plus one so method max height towards the left or height towards the right take the max and then add plus one now here there is one problem and the problem is when we have a null root right here we also have an example when we have an empty binary tree a null binary tree we are returning to now let's see in this case while we first uh, while we are examining the empty binary tree we see that it's null so this condition will be true and then here we are returning zero and zero bool in boolean it uh, translates to false right so this will give us false but we actually need a value true right so what we are going to do is instead of zero we are returning for one so this will not make a difference at this calculation that is a difference calculation here so everything will be as it is we're just returning one and in this case we will get a value true as well so let's try to run our code and see if this works fine awesome it's working fine so i have added few test cases so one here is with only single node and the other one is uh this this kind of node let me show you the tree so it's like this which only has 
all the left nodes and towards the only right so in this case also it should return false and that's the case now let's try to submit this okay talking about the time complexity and the space complexity since we are traversing over each of the root we will be traversing over each of the root in um in the worst case scenario if it is balanced tree we will have to traverse over each of the root if it is not balanced tree then we uh, in the best case we don't have to traverse each of the root node but in worst case it is o of log n i mean sorry it is o of n time complexity because we are iterating over re recursively iterating over each of the node right towards the left and towards the right and the space complexity here when we are considering the recursion we are using some stacks so in that case the space complexity also becomes o of n so that's all about this solution let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the solution thank you so much